Hi, I'm Corey Williams from Daydream Studios, and this is a fun little playthrough of the mini game The Wallow, a game created for young kids by young kids at Riverfield Country Day School here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, this uh, originally started out as a class project for the children. Um, my son is in that class, and I am an Unreal Engine uh, technical artist, so I can make games and virtual experiences and animations and all sorts of things. So of course, I wanted to help teach children what it is that I do, but also help them learn about nature in a whole new way. So in this class project, I came in um, and you know spent you know an hour on several days just talking to the kids about you know what should we do in this game? Like what are the, the, the what's the concept, the idea? Like how do we win? You know all that sort of stuff. And so the first day was that figuring out what the game is and how does it play. On the second day we started working on the art. So a lot of things that you're gonna see, the signs and, and the sounds um, and, and, and a lot of the, you know, the voice acting and things, uh, those were created by the children, uh, which I think is just so cool, so neat. And the wallow, the environment, uh, is actually a real life place uh, on the school property in the foresty area that they have. It's just like a little stream where lots of animals always show up. They put little trail cams out there to track what kind of animals come out and, and how they react with each other and how the water moves and how the forest reacts. And, and so anyway, this, this game is uh, taking all of the things that they've learned and putting it all into one space for, for you and for others to play and learn as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play this fun little game that um, we've created together. So when you go to download the game, you can get it on itch.io, should be a link down below, or if you're watching on it, itch and you've downloaded it, this is what you're gonna see after you download. You go to Windows, open it up, and then you'll see the wallow the game. Here we go. So welcome to the Wallow. Here we are. This is uh, Big Blue, the Riverfield school mascot. I created uh, Big Blue for some other projects just for fun, but um, this was a perfect, perfect place for him to take part. So uh, the artwork, all of this written completely by the kids. Um, so we'll take some time and actually look at some of the stuff that they've written because it's super cute. And again, keep in mind, it's kindergarten and first graders. And for privacy reasons, I can't actually say their names or show their faces. So uh, instead, we have included this artwork, which is uh, self-portraits of the kids. Um, that's, in a way, their, their credits, which I think is, is super cool. <laughs> so these are all the kids in their class. And there's some more signs, so let's, let's take a look at all the signs. Wallow this way. Another little wallow sign. Welcome to the wallow. Go to the wallow. Wallow, keep going. More pictures of kids. I think that's just so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna try keeping the talking to a minimum. I'm just gonna keep going, here we go. You found some trash. Make sure you pick up all the trash in the wall. Let's keep this place clean.
It's such a very peaceful place. It's one thing I've heard um, from my kids and other people is they just they just play this and just they like to walk around sometimes. A little raft you can ride. See all the little tadpoles in the water? to see ya. I'm having a dance party tonight at my brand new dam, but I need sticks for my dam. Sticks that look like, um, like this one. Find 10 sticks and pick up the trash and we'll have a really great dance party. Woohoo, I love a good dance party. Alright, so as we pick up the sticks, uh, usually you would see on the bottom left, uh, it would say the number of sticks that you have. But in this case, because my screen is monstrous, it's actually showing off the screen, which is kind of funny anyway. So right now it says one of ten sticks. Two of ten sticks. And once you play this on your own, you'll see what I'm talking about. It helps you keep track of things. Kids were so excited to have a little dance party. So, yep, spoiler, that's how it ends in a nice little dance party. So, let's get to that dance party. Let's finish.
And there you go. That's the wallow. So let me go ahead and hit the escape button. The escape button is essentially your pause button and options button where you can, you know, uh, change options and also how you escape. So um, if you are on a computer that uh, can't play video games very well, uh, then you can drop the resolution down to like 1080 by or 1280 by 720 and then hit apply. Uh, play it in Windows mode, all that sort of stuff. There's lots of instructions, but anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and exit. And there we go. So that's the game. That's, that's, uh, that's how it's played. And um, yeah, I was playing with this controller. If you are curious about um, the controller that I'm using, uh, super nice. But also you can use a keyboard. WASD walks around using your mouse, uh, controls the look position, and then space bar jumps. So very simple controls, again, created for young kids. Uh, it's a great little experience, learning experience and all of that. And just it's, it's just fun. So anyway, again, my name is Corey Williams from Daydream Studios. Thank you so much for watching. Go make, go make sure you down, download the game and leave a comment, uh, whether it's on itch.io or on YouTube, and let us know what you think, and I will forward the positive uh, feedback to the kids because I'm sure they would love to hear it. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Later.